welcome back to Heiner Builds Your Ride. Today we've got for you an off-grid conversion of a really big RV camper. So have a look at the intro and I'll meet you on the inside. Let's make more room. Cool. This is the very spacious inside of a really big motor home. As you can see, this thing has got everything. It's got 240 volt roof aircon, an ice maker, uh, it's got an induction plate in here already from factory. It's even got a generator on board and so on and so forth. And what we've done is we put a really big battery system in here, charging from solar, charging from the alternator through a DC-DC charger and charging from mains, or you can switch it over to the generator so you can recharge the batteries from the generator just in case you run out of power and you haven't got 240 volt available. So this is now completely off-grid capable. And we've put our equipment under the floor. So it's outside of the habitable living spaces. So what we've got here is we have got three 200 amp hour batteries. We have got two 50 amp roof solar regulators. We put a new power distribution in here. As you can see, we've got mega fuses. We've got a lot of MIDI fuses in here because this unit wasn't fused very well. So we've changed how this was fused and actually brought it up to spec how it should be. And then you can see in here now, we used the new Victron Ecrano screen. This is where we can monitor the whole system. And you can see it is, what's the time now? We have got about 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh, time isn't set yet. And we are already doing 400 and something watts in solar. Getting already 40, 46 amps into the battery. And this is just morning sun. A bit of the solar panels are still in shade. So what we've done on the roof is we've got four 180 watt panels and two 150 watt panels in the front. So we've got quite a big solar system on the roof. And that is what's running through the two MPPTs. They all run in a high voltage setup. So the panels have got uh, 36 volts maximum power point somewhere. There are always two panels in series, two panels in series, two panels in series. And then these three, panel, uh, three strings, as you call them, are being put in parallel to each other. Two strings to one regulator, another string uh, to the other regulator in there. 
And then we even got more solar charging by plugging in an external blanket that then later on runs through the Red Arc BC-DC charger, which is installed separately from this. So on this panel here, uh, you can see exactly what's going on. So you've got your AC input, either from the generator or the mains here, which is off because the inverter isn't on yet, as you can see. You got your AC loads here, which are off at the moment as well. You got your battery, you can see what's happening with the battery. You got DC power here, and you've got your PV charger here. The vehicle's just been moved, so they're still a little bit trickling through from uh, the start battery. And then here you can actually turn AC on. That turns the multi plus inverter charger on. You can set the input limit for external input uh, with this button here once the unit is probably turned on. We can dial that back up to 14 amps because we got a 15 amp input plug. I like to keep it slightly under so we're not overloading whatever is happening on the outside. And now you can see the inverter says that it is inverting. And if I would turn the aircon on now, set to 23 degrees, give it a little bit. And as soon as the compressor turns on, we can see on the screen how it is drawing in power. It usually takes about 30 to 60 seconds before the unit draws full power. And this is a soft start aircon, so it means it doesn't put a heavy load immediately on the inverter, it slowly ramps up, it has a soft start. So if you have a look at the screen now, you see the screen is still going up and slowly it's putting load onto the inverter. And this is getting cold already. So you can easily run this through the night and then next day you've got enough solar that you recharge your batteries. That will make for very nice off-grid camping. <laughs> Under this floor hatch here we've got a fuse box, we've got a shunt right here and this is where more of the other stuff from the van manufacturer has been installed. We redid a fair bit of the wiring to bring it up to standard uh, and a bit more on the outside. In here we've got the big Victron 3 kVA multi plus inverter charger that is linked into the 240 volt system of the RV and then this has been the old charging system the BM Pro J35 which is now only being used for power distribution. So what we do is we take all the charge inputs away, start battery input gone, uh, solar input gone, and 240 volt plug disconnected as well. So this still acts as a power distribution, but it doesn't do any charging at all anymore. The charging's now been done by the solar regulators that you saw on the inside, by the multi plus inverter charger, and by the Red Arc BCDC Core 40, uh, when the engine's running or when you plug in an external solar blanket. Very easy to nicely tuck it away and uh, that's all what you need to do to get these things really off-grid because they're being sold as off-grid RVs but they hardly ever are because the charging systems always they're always lacking of proper charging power, the batteries are never enough there's hardly ever a good inverter installed so it's always the manufacturers try to save money with the electrical system but once you put a conversion like this in it is truly off-grid and you can park wherever you want you still got 240 you've got the fridge running off batteries and you simply don't have to worry about it this van also came with a Dometic fridge freezer but it was a three-way fridge freezer and in my opinion if you're in Australia, they're just not cut out for the job. They, when it's really stinking hot, they just don't cope. So the good thing is with the Dometic fridges, they've got the equivalent of the fridge, looks exactly the same, same dimensions as a 12 240 volt fridge as well. So we've exchanged it. We had a gas fitter in to disconnect the gas and to actually put a little 
stopper in there so nothing's coming out of the gas anymore that's checked and then we put this fridge in and that is now running off the lithium batteries and off solar looks exactly the same as the one before but works a lot better this point here that's a manual transfer switch that uh, it was installed from the manufacturer so you can choose if you want mains power input or if you want generator power input or if you want to turn the input off completely and then you can start the generator on this panel here and if it's set to generator then the generator puts its power directly to the multi plus inverter charger and through that to the 240 volt system in here and it charges the batteries as well for now we just leave it on mains and that is pretty much it so i think all that we've got left to do now is our patch of approval this one is now officially ready to drive anywhere as long as they're sealed bitumen roads thanks and see you for the next one Thank you.